Why has India not criticized Russia over this invasion? The, the most immediate reason is that India is heavily reliant on Russian arms. Uh, depends on Russia for up to 85% of its arms imports. And this is particularly important given that Ru India faces a two-front threat from its two main rivals, Pakistan and China. So many of these arms that it has acquired from Russia over the years help India uh, strengthen its capacity to deter those threats posed by China and Pakistan. Uh, the second reason why India has taken the position it has uh, on the Ukraine crisis is its broader relationship with Russia, which is a very special relationship. It goes back to the earliest days of the Cold War. And India has always looked at Russia as its most trusted, steadiest, most consistent and reliable partner. So the bottom line is that India is not ready to turn on Russia because it sees Russia as its most loyal partner. But at the same time, don't we see with India, there's still st quite strong ties with countries within the EU. So is uh, New Delhi having to play a bit of a, I guess, a balancing act at the moment? Absolutely. India is in a very difficult diplomatic bind right now because Russia is its friend and it is not going to turn on Russia. It's not going to condemn the invasion, but at the same time, indeed, uh, India's relations with the West, uh, including the United States, have never been stronger. So even though India's position is nothing new, it's never condemned Russian aggressions in the past, this position that it has taken where it tries to sit on the fence has grown increasingly uh, untenable, I think, just because there's so much pressure on India to change course because its relations with, with the West and especially the United States uh, have never been stronger. You were talking about this tricky situation. What does India have to gain from this war? What do they have to lose? I can't think of anything that India gains from this war, um, but it certainly has a lot to lose. I would argue that uh, a prolonged war in Ukraine really jeopardizes um, a number of key Indian foreign policy interests. Uh, one thing is that um, a prolonged war makes it likely that uh, Russia will grow increasingly reliant on China because it'll become more dependent on Chinese financial support and perhaps even on Chinese military support. That would give China considerable leverage over Russia. And the last thing India wants is for its Russian friend to be in a position where China would have considerable influence over it. Um, another thing is that India supports multipolarity in the world, and it ideally would want Russia to balance Chinese power. It would want Russia to, to be a major power, it would want China to be a major power. But if Russia gets closer to China and the two form this block, then that undermines this notion of multipolarity. Finally, you know, the longer this war goes on, the more likely it is that the U.S. and its like-minded Western partners will be distracted from their preeminent goal of countering Chinese power in the Indo-Pacific region. And of course, that's something that, that India really supports as well. So bottom line is India has a lot to lose. But is there a chance that India could become a very important player in this war, particularly if Modi becomes a mediator? So I do think there's space for India to play the role of a third party mediator. I think it's unrealistic to expect India to take the side of the West and start condemning the invasion and condemning Russia, that's not going to happen because of the nature of its relationship with Russia. But I do think that India is, quite frankly, perfectly positioned to play the role of a third party mediator, in part because it has taken, it's tried to take this neutral, neutral position where it has not condemned Russia, but at the same time, it has abstained from UN, from UN resolutions. It has indicated its concern about, uh, about sovereignty and territorial rights uh, considerations. India has leverage over Russia because of its deep relationship with Russia. India also has cordial relations with, uh, with the Ukraine. India may be a bit uncomfortable about this third party mediation idea, but it's, it, it's perfectly positioned to do it. I think it could use its leverage over Russia to try to push for some type of de-escalation. India's interests are in peril the longer this war goes on. So India has a strong interest in doing anything to lead to some type of de-escalation. And another thing is that India is very uh, sen sensitive to frequent criticism that India punches below its weight on the global stage. In other words, that it doesn't do enough to showcase its rising power bona fide, so to speak. So if India were to put itself out there and actively play this role of a, of a mediator, and especially if it were to be successful, that would, I think, really respond 
uh, to that criticism in a really big and impactful uh, way. Are we seeing pressure from other countries for Modi to kind of step up and speak to Putin? I imagine that um, many countries in the West, including the United States, are wanting India to do something with that leverage that it has. But my sense is that um, given some of the recent developments with China and, and speculation that uh, China has been asked to provide military support to, to Russia, I think that China and its role in this whole crisis has started to take center stage. And I think that India is sort of, it's not under the microscope now as it had been some days ago, but it's certainly, uh, the, the attention will return to India just because of, of what it is, what it stands for, and because of its very unique relationship with, uh, with Moscow.